Okay, so I think I, I want to open this sixth uh, conference of uh, the Society for Mathematics and Computation in Music. And this location follows our automation tradition, you know, between Europe and America. It's, you know, if you remember, Conference 27 was in Berlin, 209 was in New Haven, 211 was in Paris, then 230 was in Montreal, and 215, the last one was in London. And perhaps we will add an Asian alternative in the future. I don't know, there's no plans yet, but that would be a, a nice extension. Uh, now, I have to say that Mexico, and in particular my wonderful friend, the mathematician and classical pianist Emilio Huerta here, has played a major role in the propagation of mathematical music theory since the end of the 20th century. My first contact and visit to the UNAM here goes back to, I think, 1999. 97, thank you. You see, <laughs> Mariana goes earlier than we thought. And I supervised, I think, Maria Mondial's master thesis, is that correct? Correct. So I was invited here, and I was at the same hotel, by the way. And Emilio then organized the first international seminar on mathematical music theory here, exactly here in this room, after the Congreso Nacional de la Societa Matemática Mexicana in 2000, followed by the second international seminar on mathematical music theory in 2001 in South Germany, organized by Thomas Noll, and the third international seminar on mathematical music theory in Zurich in 2002, organized by myself, and then the fourth international seminar on mathematical music theory in Huatulco, again organized by Emilio with Cueva uh, and his collaborators, of course. And finally, in 2014, uh, the Mexican scholars organized the International Congress on Music and Mathematics in Puerto Vallarta, which was also successful uh, event and I think there is a book coming out uh, with, 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 you know, contributions there. For, so, for these reasons I think the sixth conference here of the Society of Mathematics and Computation in Music is the point of convergence of a long Mexican tradition in the art and science of mathematical music theory. We have to recognize that. Unfortunately our Vice President Moreno Andreata cannot join us this time but the reason is not only a negative one, it's also a positive sign in the sense that he joins a major and simultaneous conference on um, musical analysis in Europe. So that means that our perspectives are also present in a wider context. And I think this is also a positive sign, yes? Okay, I want to express now to all organizers and participants of this conference my deep gratitude for your work and wish you a wonderful and inspiring week at the UNAM. And I have to mention now that's very important uh, organizing committee. The committee is Emilio, as I already suggested, of course, Octavio Alberto Agostino Aquino here, Mariano Montiel sitting down there, and Gabriel Parellon, I don't know whether he's here, I did not see him yet, and Alberto Morales Manzanares, Emil Awad, and Juan Sebastián Lach. And I think we should applaud them for their organization, organization work. First of all, most welcome to Mexico City. We hope you enjoy your stay. For those who come for the first time to or inquire about a conference on mathematics and music, some students lost to come. Let me tell you that our field is both a recent area of study and a very old one. At the beginning, there was a connection of numbers and music, music in Pythagoras, which turned out into a network to say things about music with certain foundation. Descartes, Galileo, Kepler, Leibniz, Boyer, D'Alembert, Hemholtz are some others that appear in this scene. In the last century, acoustics and its technology were very successfully applying mathematics to music, also computer science and some other fields like linguistics. Later, the work of Kloch in 1979, Levin in 1982, and Matsoda in 1985 inspired both music-interested mathematicians 
and mathematical interested musicians to continue working in mathematics and music. Currently, it is noticeable that there are a big trend in the last three decades in mathematics to do not only applications, but to do new mathematics in a variety of fields of knowledge. And the field of music has been no exception. So, mathematical music theory is both a recent area of study and also a very old one. From Pythagoras till the 80s of last century, very few and not very sophisticated mathematics were in the scene of music. It was when the heavy mathematical machinery was available and that the smart enough talented mathematicians used it that the recent mathematical music theory was created. One of the main goals of mathematical music theory, and I will quote some of Reino Mazzola's thought, was to develop a scientific framework for musicology. This framework has had as foundation established scientific fields. It included a formal language for music, musical and musicological objects and relations. Music is fundamentally rooted within physical, psychological and psychological and semiotic realities. But the formal description of musical instances corresponds to mathematical formalism. Mathematical music theory is based on category theory, algebraic topology, in particular topos theory, model theory, theory, homotopy theory, homology theory, graph theory, algebraic geometry, just to name some areas that is on heavy mathematical machinery. Its purpose, among others, is to describe the mathematical the musical structure. The philosophy behind it is understanding the aspects of music that are susceptible to the reason in the same way as physics does in for natural phenomena. This theory is based in an appropriate language to manage the relevant concepts of the musical structures in a group of postulates or theorems with regard to the musical structure subject to the de defined conditions and in the functionality for composition and the analysis with or without computer. It was until the near last four decades that there is consistent work in mathematical music theory. This sixth international conference of mathematics and computation in music is held here at UNAM in Mexico City. The MCM is the flagship conference of the Society for Mathematics and Computation in Music. It, con it continues the tradition of biennial international conferences for the Society for Mathematics and Computation in Music held on alternating sides of the Atlantic. In this occasion, it is hosted by the Faculties of Sciences here at UNAM. The conference brings together researchers from around the world who combine mathematics or computation with music theory, music analysis, composition and performance. MCM provides a dedicated platform for the communication and exchange of ideas amongst researchers in mathematics, computer science, music theory, composition and performance, musicology and related disciplines. There will be introductory talks to specific fields of research. The disciplines of mathematics and music share an intervening history stretching back more than two and a half millennia. More recently, computer science has made possible new approaches to these disciplines, offered often with transformative effect. In addition to the scientific program, there will be concerts both to both Congress participants and to the general public. I will address about the last three decades in Mexico's history on this subject for those who do not know it or who know it come for the first time. Let me tell you that 25, 24 years ago, I was listening at the radio station, uh, a very nice voice that says something like the application of finite group theory to the musical analysis of Bach and so on and so on. So it caught my attention, and when I went to see the owner of this voice, I went to the old building of the uh, music school from Yunnan, and this young uh, thin man kindly showed me a bunch of papers he had. I read them and for some time, and I got the idea of what he was doing. This young man was Julio Estrada, 
a distinguished composer and musicologist. We would have the privilege of hearing him in a plenary lecture to close this conference. Then I went to Canada to do a PhD on algebraic K theory. I was in love with pure mathematics like homological algebra, algebraic topology, algebraic geometry, homotopy theory. Nobody could have ever told me that these marvelous pieces of pure mathematics were ever to appear more than 30 years later in the other field of my passion, music. When I came back to Mexico in the early 80s, I wanted to do some work in mathematics and music, in particular to guide an undergraduate thesis to a student. But the large faces and terrible gesticulations of a colleague who was in charge of some high position at the department demoralized me from doing that. Sounds familiar? Some years later, in the 90s, a very decided lady, full of energy, appeared in my office completely determined to make an undervalued thesis in mathematics and music, particularly based on the book, which I already mentioned, mentioned from Julio Strada. I gave her more articles and books, and she started to look for more bibliography. The librarian got some reference of Guerrero Mazzola, particularly his book, Gruppen and Category in the Music. Some articles by him and others, including Shane Gale's papers with some of the American school. This lady was Maria Montiel, here present, now a full professor in the United States. Maria decided to do a master's thesis also in the same field, especially on denotator theory. I invited Guarino Manzola to Mexico for the first time in 1997, and we began a wonderful friendship since. We have each other, we know each other for 20 years, Guarino. My goodness, how fast time goes by. In the year 2000, when I was president of the Sociedad Matematica Mexicana, I dared to organize the first international seminar on mathematical music theory, which took place simultaneously here and at the Faculty of Music, uh, Science and in the uh, School of Music of Paul from UNAM. Thomas Noll and Guerrero Maxwell attended, among others. Some days before the first international seminar, we have a very special session on mathematical music theory at the annual Congreso Nacional de la Sociedad Matemática Mexicana in Saltillo, which had an assistance of about 2,000 persons, with great success. As a frame to both meetings, we have concerts by Marina Mazzola in Saltillo, here in Sala Carlos Chavez, in Sala Xochipilli, and here in Mexico City, which turned out into a delightful city of free jazz called the Yunnan Concert, with Corino Mazzola playing Rachmaninoff's Corelli La Folia theme as a motive. In both meetings, many mathematicians and musicians, musicians attended with surprise in their face. The memoirs of the seminar were published by the Sociedad Matemática Mexicana, electronic publications, and later were uh, unified with the memoirs of the second international seminar, which took place in Germany in 2001, and with the third one, which took place in Switzerland in, 20, in 2002, and published by Epos Music of, of the University of Osnabrück in the year 2004. I almost did not see the publication because I almost died. I was very ill for six months with an unknown disease, which later was believed to be a viral meningitis, for which there are no cure. So, after so dying, six years later, in 2009, a student of mine, John, impetuous and talented mathematician and musician, Octavio Agustin Aquino, here present, convinced me to have the fourth seminar. It took place in Huatulco, Oaxaca, in 2010, as the fourth international seminar on mathematical music theory. By the way, Octavio became the first PhD in mathematics graduated in Mexico at UNAM in mathematical music theory in the year 2011, with a thesis on microtonal counterpoint. In November 2012, another very talented man, musicologist, doing also systematic musicology, which I admire most because of his vast cultural talent uh, organizational capabilities, enormous memory, and many other talents contacted me in order to organize a sequel of the international seminars, 
seminars, which turned out to be the very successful International Congress of Music and Mathematics held in November of 2014. This great, great man is Gabriel Padillo. And that Bayard International Congress on Music and Mathematics held in November of 2014, Murillo Mazzola proposed to me that the next MCM could be held in Mexico City at UNAM. And here we are. As you know, not only in Mexico, the funding for meetings is practically unexistent. Many persons interest, interested in coming could not join us because they did not have economic support from their universities. We thought it could be obtained some funding for it, but once more, we had to do it with our own personal budget, forces and personal work and risk. We proudly can say that once more, we have done it by ourselves, thanks to you and to everybody that collaborated. I want to thank very specially Octavio Agustin Aquino and Mariana Montiel for the great work in the Scientific Program Committee, in which we spent hours and hours, days and more days working on it. Also, our thanks to all my graduate and undergraduate thesis students in the local committee for their assistance. We, have, we thank the collaboration for lending their infrastructure to the Faculty of Sciences here at UNAM, especially to the Secretaria de Difusión, to Alma Rosa Jiménez and all her personnel. Our thanks to the technicians for their help in recording all lectures and putting them in our page the next day so anybody can see them. Also to Carlos Amora for the transportation facilities and infrastructure. Thank you all for your kindness and attention. Also, our thanks to the Escuela Superior de Musica for lending their auditorium for Guerrero Mazzola and Heinz Geiser recital tomorrow, and the Museo Nacional Nacional de Historia Castillo de Chapultepec for my recital with Harold Pippertinger on Wednesday. To finish these opening words, let me tell you that I work since the 70s with homotopy theory, cohomology theory, algebraic topology, homological algebra, among other fields of mathematics. In the 70s, this work considered pure mathematics. However, 37 years later, these wonderful pieces of mathematics come to be applied mathematics. And look where it happens to be in my other field of theory, passion, music. But, only, but not only is an application, you can do new mathematics as well. For me, mathematics and music are both fine arts. They possess similar characteristics. To make this statement, this statement a lot more precise, Guerrero Mazzola will give, will give a whole inaugural lecture. In the name of the organizing committee and myself, we thank all the participants to the MCN for making it possible. Have a wonderful conference. Dear colleagues, good morning and be very welcome to Mexico. I have to answer some words and I'm here. This is a very special occasion I would never have foreseen occurring during my lifetime when I was a teenager. The opportunity to gather in my country such an excellent group of researchers and enthusiasts in the intersection of mathematics, computation and music, all of this as a member of the organizing committee. It has been a pleasure and an honor to participate in it. The significance of this conference is highlighted by the fact that two of my mentors, Emilio Luis Puebla and Marín Manzola, reached the special age milestones and thus they can see and reap the fruits of the international and interdisciplinary scientific endeavor they have sowed decades ago. Perhaps I am not even a good example of the outcome of such a harvest, but nevertheless, I would like to offer my testimony as a tribute to these notable individuals. Early in my undergraduate studies in mathematics at the Universidad Tecnológica de la Mixteca, I noticed that beautiful music seemed to be characterized by certain patterns and internal logic amenable to mathematical description and extension. I searched for less metaphorical work in that direction and I stumbled upon with the trail of Emilio Curis and Mariano Montiel. 
the dog this in turn led me to the topos of music by Marino Mazzola and an ardent desire to study it and writing my BS thesis because in Mexico it's a requirement for graduation on counterpoint. I profited from a field trip to meet uh, Emilio Luis here at UNAM and he proposed him my plan of driving counterpoint to its ultimate consequences, for which I needed his support as future once I was admitted for graduate students at UNAM. I vividly remember him looking at me, trying to figure out my mental health. Luckily, his record was the same, and he gladly accepted to direct my EMDM thesis once I were accepted, and he helped me to get a copy of that first practice. And I remember carrying the two kind of kilogram book uh, around uh, with them. I remember um, both as a motivation, and it's a source of performance because of the deep mathematics it, used, it is based on. I, I wrote Green Manzola for advice, and he simply answered, get your bachelor degree first. Thus, I did my best to absorb my courses and to convince a professor to direct my thesis with Manzola's book as my personal bodyguard, but to no avail. Once I was a graduate student at here in Nam, I communicated again with Manzola for some words of encouragement, and he replied, get your master's degree first. Immediately it did not make this easy as well, since he instructed me from work early on in the right geometry and topology, community algebra and category theory courses, so I can have a solid mathematical culture. This proved to be, to, to be very hard for me, and many times I felt totally lost with the material. But the topics of music dependencies always were there to cheer me up. When I completed my master's degree and my hero, Marina Mansola, finally was one of my PhD, was my PhD director, I asked him again for a third direction. And he just told me, you are on your own though. Jewish and Mansola guidance, I realized now. What's the best I could wish for? There is no royal path between mathematics and music. Hence, I should proceed steadily and carefully if I expect to succeed in my ambitions. I do not know how far I can get, but I owe them a great deal of the epsilon I have managed to go forward. So, I say, tell you again, uh, to all of you, welcome to Mexico, and I hope we can have a great conference. And I ask you to uh, big applause for this event that enabled this. Thank you very much.